Oh my god, where am I? Oh my god, I'll tell you where I am. Live, on tape, from a secret, undisclosed location no longer. I'm at a, actually at the most easterly comic book store in North America, Downtown Comics. So we're bringing to you a special edition of In the Library of Graphic Literature, Downtown Comics edition. Um, my name is Wells Ryan. I'm the manager here too, along with Carrie and Tamara and Sam, a great crew here. So I figured, hey, I'll shoot uh, my episode from uh, from the shop, and it's a great shop. We have, of course, our new comics there. There's our image section, our Marvels back there, DCs over there. We got we actually sell magazines. Our pop section there, the back issue section back in the back to to die for. So. Check it out if you're ever in St. John's, Newfoundland. Now we've got a couple of books here tonight uh, that I thought you would like. And I, I like a couple of them because I've actually read them in the, inter in the interim. Now this one, of course, it's sold out. Now, did you hear what Eddie Gein done by Harold Sch what is it, Schrichter and Eric Powell? Dun, 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 dun. So it's a... Uh, it's the story of Eddie Gein, the guy who was responsible for so many horror stories. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice little read, very well written. Doesn't get too gory uh, <laughs> for something that's that gory. <laughs> Next is Alberto, Alberto Brescia's Dracula. This one I always liked. I can't remember where I'd read it before, but when I started reading it, it's just like I've read these, one of these stories somewhere before. I'm not sure if it was in heavy metal or, or where it was, but... Of course, I love his style, but this, this is like Dracula gone round the band. But, uh, beautifully painted, great colors, great stories, sort of funny, a few funny moments here and there. Beautifully drawn, though, because it's Brescia. So, yeah, check it out. It's definitely worth buying. Definitely worth buying. Okay. Just tooting along here. Oh, it's actually not a bad night out. It's not too warm. It's probably around, you know, 15 degrees, I think, Celsius. It'll be about 45, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess. Okay. Uh, 60, what am I saying? More like 60. Okay. Here we have Marvel Masterworks Volume 21 of The Avengers. No, 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 no. Cool one about this, besides the fact that it has some great artwork by Bob Hall, Hall one of the more underrated uh, artists of uh, The Avengers, is this also has the Vision Scarlet Witch uh, series. From one to four, which is I always really kind of liked. Um, so it's kind of good to see that collected. Although I, I'm thinking about it, I think I might even have it in another collection. But anyway, good to see and good to see uh, good old Bob Howell's uh, stuff in the in this too. Let's see who else. Yeah, Greg Lorock, Rick Leonardi, Mark Bright, and Al Milgram. So check it out. Like I say, if, even for the vi the uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch story. But yeah, I always did like Bob Hall, like I say. There's one of the classic covers. There we go. Okay. Oh, geez, we're zip along here. There's another one actually I've had a chance to read. This is Tony Sandoval, 1000 Storms. Sandoval, uh, he did a, I've read a lot of his books, uh, Glance Backwards, but Doom Boy is one of my favorites of his. But I've started reading this one, and this one's really cool too, A Thousand Storms. Amazing artwork, great stories, very, very mysterious, but, uh, but uh, very, very entertaining. I've always liked his stuff. Doom Boy is, is a piece of magic if you don't already have it. Run out and pick up one. But yeah, I love his his style. Can't let you see the the ending too, but yeah, check it out. One 
down. Some more. Okay, now what do we have here? Oh, oh. Here we have the complete MD from EC. Come on, open up. Damn it, there we go. Now, of course, uh, check out uh, our month of. Uh, of Kirby uh, over at uh, Thursday Comics. We did a four uh, four episode month all having to do with Kirby creations, Kirby comics, Kirby uh, char uh, characters, creations, concepts, and comics. Uh, so check them all out. It was his birthday just the other day, so uh, help, help us celebrate it in our tiny little way. Anyway, here we go with MD. This is uh, collects the complete run of MD, and uh, let's see who who do they have in terms of artists. They usually do have some. I guess so. Oh, let's see. Ooh, Graham Engels, ghastly Graham Engels, as I like to call him. George Evans, Joe Lando, Reed Crandall, Johnny Craig, Reed Crandall, Joe Lando. Oh, seems like the boss. Or just about every everyone. Every one of the other ones, but what a good crew, though. Joe Orlando, it. he was editor of the DC Horror line in the 70s, great. George Evans, one of the great, one of the most underrated artists, I think, especially from uh, from the EC Comics days. <coughs> I can remember he did he did some work for Marvel in the 70s that was, was still pretty good. He still had it going, right? But well, yeah, check it out. Good artwork, especially Reed Crandall. Love the Crandall. And Ghastly Graham Engels. When you when you see his stuff, it's just like, my God, I can see where Bernie Wrightson was inspired from. Among other people. But yeah, MD. Check it out. Run out, buy it right now. <coughs> I command you. <coughs> and now, my God, where's my cup of tea? Hang on a sec. Jeez, I haven't even had, had a chance to have a cup of tea out of it. <laughs> Actually, we're just after doing the, doing the books here so the new DC titles are out. Didn't get any hardcovers from them this week, though. Pity. Anyway. And the last book of today's show, dun, 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 boom, 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 is The Collected Topi, Volume 6, Japan. Ding, 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 ding. Love his artwork. Very influential to a lot of uh, North American comic book artists. Uh, but yeah, I got I can't believe I have every book in this set. Just love his drawing style. Beautiful pen and ink work. And this guy. This guy knew pen and ink. Check it out. So yeah. He do, he's done other books and all that in the series. So worth so worth reading. But even just to look at. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. That being said, uh, Next week, of course, I'm coming close to the 200th episode. I hope, hope to have a special guest on it. I'm not going to tell you tell you who. Uh, I think next week's Thursday Comics is going to be a news one, if there's any big news out there. Which I know there is, actually. There, there's been a bit of news here and there. And, uh, and that's about it. Oh, yes, and check out the Comics Positive. So I'm still getting those out every, every couple of days. Anyway, didn't get one out today, but, you know. Very, very, very busy. I'm a busy man. Okay, thank you for having me over, and we'll see you next week. Woo!